Hi, OP friends. Every time I start my video, I go really close to the mic. Hi, OP friends. I'm going to try to stop doing that. It is a very exciting day. I got my typing results back from Benjamin and his team. They operate with a system where they have two teams. The first results I got back was from uh, four of them. And they all, they all assessed my video answers separately. And they came up with each of their own four types of what they thought I was. I am now currently in rotation for the other team to type me. Once I see the second group, I'll see which type got the most votes. I don't know if you guys are also like this, but that like really, really made my night. I wasn't expecting it. And I just suddenly got a message from them um, to the Google Doc. It's like a spreadsheet. And I was so, 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 so excited. And I read through the entire thing. And I think that's why I couldn't really sleep. I wanted to read and reread all of their comments to really digest what they were saying. Today is day 28. I am so close to having done this for an entire month. Wow, this has not been easy for me. I think the first week or so, it was very exciting because it was something new that I was doing. Over time, it started to take up a large portion of my day. I think on day 15, I said I wanted to quit. Even yesterday, I just wasn't feeling good about everything. The busyness started to take over. And because of that, I felt like the quality of my material was dwindling. It did get to that point where the, the balance just wasn't there. And I was really frustrated with the quality of my my videos because I felt like I was starting to repeat myself. What was I talking about? I was getting really discouraged. Yesterday, especially, I was thinking, oh, thank God I'm almost, you know, at day 30 so I can stop doing this. There were many days where I just wanted to stop. I was very tempted to just stop and to quit, but that that has been my entire life. When things get hard or when things start to get a little bit boring or frustrating, I lose interest, I lose momentum, and I quit. And I thought I need to at least make it to day 30 so that I can say that I kept this habit for an entire month. Sorry, guys, I lost my train of thought. I have no idea where I was going with that. Oh, right. So uh, clearly my videos are helping me because I got my grade back from my very first big speech that I did in class. I procrastinated till the last minute. Um, two hours before it was due, I was like, shit, shit, I need to just get it done. And so I popped myself in front of my laptop and I just like winged it and I recorded it and I somehow ended up getting a hundred out of a hundred. That would not have happened if I was not doing these daily YouTube videos. It's so cool to see like real world tangible results. That class is what got me to start this video, and these videos is what's helping me to excel in that class. It was just such a win-win situation. Just this whole OP journey, I'm learning so much about myself, about my limits, things that get to me. I've met so many cool people along the way. This has just been such an incredible journey. Yesterday, I was really not feeling it, not happy, felt like I was running out of things to talk about. I was just like discouraged, discouraged. Today, I have that renewed sense of happiness and excitement because as of today, in my OP journey, the plot thickens. I got four typing results back. I'm, I'm so excited to share their results with you guys. Just to preface it, it's not what I expected. I learned a lot about myself. I don't know if you guys are all like this too, but when I got that message from them with the document that has all of their typing notes, it was like better than Christmas. I was so excited, like screaming inside and um, just, just reading through all their notes and like, I don't know, are you guys like that too? Or is it just me? Like I, this stuff is so exciting. It's so cool. And um, I was like savoring every little word that they wrote. So before I get started, just let me brag for a little bit, just a little bit. So yesterday was Sunday. All of my homework is due on Sundays. I was able to get all my homework done yesterday because I, because I finished it early in the day. I got my video out um, much earlier than I normally do. I was like, oh my God, I have all this free time. What do I do? What do I do? Normally, my default would have been, yes, I have free time. So I'm going to watch OP videos or just indulge in the things that I want to do. But I told myself, no, there are things that I've been putting off and I'm going to do them now. I make these homemade protein bars that my husband loves and for these bars you have to get like dates uh like shaved coconut. There's all these like different ingredients involved. A month and a half ago, we went out to buy this giant pack of dates because I was going to make him these protein bars. I've just been sitting in the drawer because I just never got around to it, forgot about it. Even stupid little things like I would have to dig out the recipe because I haven't made it in so long. All these little barriers to making it. But yesterday I thought I'm going to make it for him. I'm going to make it for him. So I made protein bars and I cleaned my desk, you guys. It looks so good. It looks so good. Like I feel motivated to be able to 
get work done here and um, it feels good. It feels good. I think uh, I'll throw in a before and after picture. Like, yeah, the before one is nasty, but yeah, whatever. Like, at least you can see the difference. You can see the difference. So yeah, yesterday I made protein bars. I cleaned my desk. There were also a lot of other things I've been meaning to get around to. Like, you know, just like checking the balance of certain gift cards that have been sitting around for a while. I have store credit at this one place. I've been just wanting to get a refund for the longest time because I'm not going to buy anything there anyway. I took care of a lot of these things. I just feel so good. I feel so good. While I was making the protein bars and cleaning my desk, I was listening to four hour work week. So I just got a lot done. And so I'm, I'm very happy about it. I know, I know, I know. I just, I needed to like share this with somebody. Thank you for letting me brag for a minute. Are you guys ready to hear the types that they got back to me with? Okay, so I stand corrected, you guys. I was going off into all of these tangents because I had it fixed in my head that there's no way that I could be an INFP in Myers-Briggs, the same in OP. And I think it's because in all of their videos, they constantly hammer the point that people type themselves upside down and that it's really functions that you're using in a savior and demon state. And I think all of that sort of messed with me and I made it a lot more complicated than it actually is. And because they said it's so rare for someone to type themselves correctly, I just assumed that is the case, then clearly I can't be an INFP in Myers-Briggs and OP. I was very stubborn in that mindset and, and thinking, no, there's going to be this like crazy, crazy treasure that I'm going to unearth that's going to shock me. I guess I just put too much emphasis in the differences in Myers-Briggs and OP because of all of the comments and just anecdotes and things that I picked up along the way. It's probably my NE that went out into a million different directions and said, oh, okay, so these are all the possibilities of what, what that statement implies. And so I think that's what happened. And I just convinced myself that I was going off on this crazy, crazy journey, finding the one in 512 OP type that I am. So there were four individuals that typed me. Out of the four, two came back with the same type, and then the other two came back with different types. I just want to quickly uh, just reiterate all of the types that have been given to me so far. Obviously, I come from the Myers-Briggs world uh, where I am an INFP. And so uh, from that world, I am F-I-N-E. Now, once I started looking into the OP journey, the first set of typers, I watched my videos and they came back with S-I-F-I. -I. Next set of typers that I'm about to share with you, after watching the video just once, he came back to me. F-E-S-E -E or T-E-S-E. -E. I think I really, really grabbed onto that and I thought, oh man, I think I really took that to support my thoughts that whatever my end type is, is going to be something drastically different that I was not going to be expecting. For the longest time, I did try to fit the blocks together as to why I am F-E-S-E -E or T-E-S-E. -E. And then following that, I thought I was NETI. And um, I've thought that for the last two or three days uh, because I listened to some tapes that uh, someone sent me and we just sounded so, so, so similar. Let me get into the types that they came back with. So the first individual, they came back with MFFINE, Consume, Sleep, Blast, Play. And that is an INFP. Interestingly, they were the only one to come back with INFP. So interesting. However, I will preface all of this and say that a majority of them did leave comments. Each of them in, in individual parts have all said you were difficult to type. You were difficult to type. And I think it does have a lot to do with my background in typology and just my overall self-awareness. It is a lot harder to decipher the coins. Uh, so person number two, she came back with... M-F-N-E-F-I, Consume, Play, Sleep, Blast, which makes me an E-N-F-P. Okay, okay. Pretty close, right? Pretty F-I-N-E is I-N-F-P, and then if you flip it, N-E-F-I is E-N-F-P. So clearly, those two are seeing very high levels of F-I and N-E. Person number three, he saw M-F-N-E-F-I, Consume, Play, Blast, Sleep, or consume, play, sleep, blast. Um, it was really just the order of the animals that he wasn't entirely sure of. Blast, sleep, last, or sleep, blast, last. That makes me 
an ENFP. So now I have ENFP two times. Okay, okay. Lastly is Benjamin, and he was the only one to see me、uh, differently than the others. All of their comments are so interesting because they sort of explain why they went with the type that they chose. And for him, he saw a lot of me. Putting the tribe over myself, and also it was that question about what is the most important thing to you that I just kind of balked on. And normally, when you interview a lead FI, they will jump at that question and go into it for a very long time. But I think for me, it possibly was my FI. My FI user cannot. Lie like they they need to speak the truth of their identity in the moment. But I think that question caught me off guard because I wanted to scan my brain for is the most important thing to me. And on top of that, it was probably my NE that was going out in a million directions and wanting some boundaries and constraints to be able to pick. Like okay, the best thing from what realm, what part of my life are, are you looking for? Because I can tell you with with specificity, I can tell you for sure. And so I think those were the reasons why he saw me differently. He just、uh, happened to pick out different parts of the interview than the others. And so he came back with M F F E N E, play blast sleep consume or play consume blast sleep, which would make me an E S F J jumper. Interesting, interesting. ESFJs are not not the people I get along with the most in life.、Um, they're very sensory and very tribe oriented, and a little bit on the gossip, small talk, judgmental. I I don't know. Just just for those reasons, I've never really gotten along too well with them. There are a few in my life that I do get along with very well. The distinction is it would make me an ESFJ jumper, which is still kind of weird. But I see the reasons why he chose that. The arguments he makes like make sense. Currently, it seems like ENFP is my number one vote. You know, two people got back to me with ENFP. One person got back to me with INFP. So it is very clear that FI and NE are. Are high in my stack, and phew, that's good to hear. From the beginning of this journey, that's what I thought I was, and then I went through a whole identity crisis. And in fact, it is—I'm so, so glad I documented everything because now there's like videos of a clear F I N E user trying to convince herself that she is N E T I or that she is S I F I. And I think I don't know—that's that's pretty interesting too.、I'm、glad that I I documented everything. I can't wait for the next team to get back to me. I'm guessing it's another four, and whatever ends up being at the top is probably going to be INFP or ENFP. I wanted to share one very interesting comment that individual number one that said I was INFP said. There are two things that I can't place about you at all. Most or all lead FIs that I see are always sad, addicted to sadness. I would even say, sorry to bring it up like this. That's what it looks like from a DE perspective, haha. Whereas you radiate happiness and goofiness. And I thought that was such an interesting point. That is definitely a part of my identity: the the sadness and being addicted to sadness. And I think for most of my adult life, like that was my state. Is、um, probably ever since high school. Is I was that goth emo girl that just hated everything and hated herself, and just everything was so hard and dark. I did struggle with a lot of depression and negative thoughts and negativity, and I always felt like it was just a switch, a flip of. I I can be this enormously happy and positive person, but it I'm not always that way. And when something gets me down, I am stuck. I am trapped in it for a long, long, long time. And so it's been my life's journey to figure out: okay, how do I find peace? How do I find happiness? How do I learn to accept myself and love myself? And it's still an ongoing process. But when the negative thoughts are at bay, that is when I feel truly happy, and where I can also. Just share my light and share my happiness with others. But I will say it's a very, very back and forth flip for sure, for sure. So the fact that he said that most lead FIs are always sad, yeah, I can be like that too. I can totally be like that too. I think there's something to be said also that when I talk in these videos, it is about a subject that I love, and so I do come across as a lot more enthusiastic than I do in real life. Out of the four of them,、uh, when it came to organize versus gather, all four. Of them unanimously said OE, so everyone agreed that yeah, I am definitely OE. When it came to feeling, 
all four unanimously agreed that it was my savior function. Unanimous. When it came to intuition, all four agreed that it was my savior. When it came to sensing, all four agreed that it was my demon. When it came to thinking, all four came back and said it was my demon. So it's interesting that all of that was unanimous. Um, the things that they weren't quite uh, unanimous on is, okay, the first one is observer, decider. Am I an observer or am I a decider? And there were two votes for decider and there were two votes for observer. So that's interesting, that's interesting. Um, they do say that I seem relatively balanced with my sensing and intuition, which is why I'm not throwing out a million analogies, but you can clearly see my NE in the way that I move on from one subject to the next and just see the, the different possibilities everywhere. And when it came to tribe versus self, uh, three came back with uh, introverted decider, my FI, and then one came back with extroverted decider. So for my modalities, they all pretty much unanimously said that I am masculine on my sensory, I am feminine on my extroverted thinking. And that totally makes sense. Every typing that I've gotten so far has been MF. Everyone seems to agree with that. And I think one of the big cues is my, my reprehends. Uh, one of the comments even mentioned my reprehends. That seems to be unanimous. And the animals are also interesting. Three came back with me being lead consume, which I thought I was anyway. So that's, that's good to know because what if I was talking about doing all of this consuming and it turns out that I was like blast first, like that would be really embarrassing. The last person said I was skib energy. The rest get a little bit confusing because two people say that play is my second. Two people said that I was blast third. And then two people said that I was blast last. One person said I was savior play. Two people said I was play second. And one person said that I was play last. So I wish I could go through the entire contents of the spreadsheet with you guys, but that would just take way too long. So maybe I'll split it up into portions once I get the results from the next set of typers. Go line by line on each video, drive versus self, observer versus decider, and just kind of break it up that way so that you guys can see a good comparison of eight people and what they type me as. What a fun and crazy experience. After, after reading this, so if two people saw ENFP, then it's N-E-F-I. So N-E is my savior. And so I started listening. So last night while I was going to bed, I was listening to a bunch of different podcasts, a bunch of different podcasts and interviews trying to compare ENFP and INFP. And I'm still a little bit unsure of which one I am. I I think that I'm F-I-N-E, that I'm I'm definitely savior F-I, I, I think, but we'll see, we'll see. They were split 50-50 between me being an observer and a decider. If I was an E-N-F-P, then that's why I seem to be freaking out about things more. But I also think that I do equally freak out about people things. So I, I'm still unsure which one it is. I feel like I identify more with INFP rather than ENFP. So at this point, because INFP and ENFP are in the running and skib energy or consume play seems to be what people think I am, I'm guessing that I am an INFP that appears extroverted because of my consume play. With the ENFPs in my life, they are very positive, happy-go-lucky, which I know I can come across as, but compared to them, I am a lot more just moody and introspective and really, really just in my own world about myself and my internal worlds and my idealism. Over time and with age, I've become a lot more balanced in needing to push myself to do things in the external world. But as an entire track record, I am very, very focused on self and internal growth. And I'm always in my head. At this point on day 28, I'm calling it that I am INFP. So the moment I got these results back, I was laughing to myself just thinking, wow, all of my past videos are basically... I'm just this crazy person talking about why I am N-E-T-I or why I am S-I-F-I and trying so hard to convince myself with their logic. So I'll let you guys know uh, once I get my results back from the second group, I probably won't get typed by them for, uh, I'm guessing like a few weeks because it is like a very extensive report. Now I can stop wasting my time going through all of the F-E-S-E, T-E-S-E videos and just really hone in on N-E-F-I and F-I 
I and E and try to figure out, okay, which, which one am I? out of those. Now that I got all of the detours and stuff out of the way, I feel like I'm getting a lot closer to my final OP type. It's so funny that it's probably going to end up being the same as my, my Myers-Briggs type. I think I overcomplicated the process way too much just based on other people's anecdotes and to the point where I became stubborn in thinking, no, because everybody types themselves upside down, you always end up being what you don't want to be in OP. I really held on to that stubbornly and thought that that was going to be my journey too. So anyway, I feel a whole lot better today because I have a better grasp of my identity and that it was what I thought it was all this time. And so what a huge burden that's been lifted. Uh, now that I know where to focus on, I feel like I just feel a lot lighter and like I can make my videos a lot easier now and just be my NFP self. Uh, in my videos without having to prove anything. Very cool, very cool. So day 28 in my journey, back to square one. So I am probably an INFP. So I will keep you guys posted with the next group. I have a feeling that they will also struggle with the NE and the FI because they're gonna be watching that same video where I answer the questions. So what do you guys think? I know, I know some of you will say, well, duh, you've always been an INFP and yep, yep, yep. Uh, I stand corrected. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree? I have a lot to think about. Day 28? I think I am INFP. Thank you for watching my ridiculous video. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.